Hello, I'm Councillor Kevin Peel. I grew up in Merseyside in the 80s and 90s under the last Tory government, and I saw young people all around me failed by a system that was effectively rigged against working class kids. Things got so much better under Labour with record investment in education, more young people accessing university and taking up apprenticeships, and millions lifted out of poverty. But under the Tories since 2010, that progress has been steadily rolled back. It's National Careers Week this week, but the Conservatives recently denied young people across England the support of professional careers advisors as they voted against Labour's amendments to the Skills Bill currently making its way through Parliament. They simply don't have the ambition for our young people and our country that Labour has and that our young people have themselves. Labour's put forward plans to help tackle skill shortages and ensure that young people leave education ready for work and ready for life. Our costed and funded plans would see support from a professional careers advisor and at least two weeks worth of work experience for every young person, helping to guide and inform them on their future study and career choices that are right for them. And that work experience is so important. It was mandatory under Labour and the Tories scrapped that. And now many young people don't get that vital experience at all. After over a decade in power, the Conservatives aren't interested in fixing the problems they've created. They voted against Labour's proposals, doubling down on their earlier cut to career services in 2013, which head teachers warned at the time would leave 2 million young people without the support they need. Pre-pandemic government data shows that this has left two thirds of young people without access to professional careers advice, while almost half of young people report they felt unprepared for the future. So as well as recruiting over a thousand new careers advisors for schools, Labour's plan to ensure young people every young person leaves education ready for work and ready for life, would embed essential digital and life skills across the curriculum. We'd be maintaining the laptops that have been provided to schools during the pandemic to ensure no young person is without the devices they need to learn and succeed at school. Right now, too many young people are leaving education without the skills and qualifications they need to prosper in the modern economy. Under the last Labour government, the number of young people gaining A-level and BTEC qualifications, essential to succeeding in our economy, rose each year but this progress has now stalled. Since 2013, there has been virtually no change with 40% of young people leaving education without these key passports to future success. It's not just on the qualifications where the Conservatives are failing to deliver the skills our country needs. Apprenticeships should be the gold standard in training opportunities. They offer people a way to earn while they learn and support employers to develop the skills of their workforce. But after a dozen years of Conservative rule, they are in decline. Across Bury and Bolton, the number of people starting an apprenticeship has fallen dramatically since 2010. Nationally, the picture is stark, a drop of almost 200,000 in the number of people starting an apprenticeship over the last decade. It adds up to a set of skill shortages which are holding our economy and our country back. With the Conservatives distracted by parties and scandals at the heart of Downing Street, it is only Labour that has a real plan for skills. Labour would invest further in higher education and in further education to secure our economy, enable workers to access new jobs and give Britain skills for the future. We want our young people to build a high-wage, high-skill economy where we buy, make and sell more here in Britain so we deliver the security, prosperity and respect people across our country need and deserve. Thanks very much.